Hi, so first off, I am not a doctor. I am in no way a spokesperson or an expert on this condition. All the information I have in this video was provided to me by a friend who has ME. So if I manage to get stuff mixed up, I'm sorry, I'll put an annotation on the screen so make sure you have that activated, just in case. Today, May 12, is International ME slash CFS Awareness Day. And this is really needed because most people are not aware that it even exists. So ME slash CFS stands for this thing, which I'm not going to pronounce, and it's a neurological disease which affects mostly women and no one seems to know why. Around 0.4% of the population are estimated to have this and most people are probably misdiagnosed. There is sadly a lot of disagreement in the medical world about this as to both the cause, the treatment and the diagnosis and many doctors are still reluctant to even recognize it as a real condition. Some common symptoms are extreme lack of energy, both mental and physical fatigue, and even the most minimal physical activity will make it worse. There is oversensitivity to light, sound and touch, and there are uh, constant flu-like symptoms that will leave some people bedridden for days, months or even years on end. As of now, there is no definitive treatment for ME slash CFS, and the things that do work can differ a lot from person to person. So, for most people, it's still a chronic disease, but recent research has been very promising, so hopefully we'll see some major progress in the next few years. The goal right now is to make more people aware of this condition, because ME patients are in need of specialist care, but they're mostly left on their own, and so little is still known about this. So, if you want to read up, Google, as always, is your friend, and I've put a few links down in the doobly-doo if you want to know more. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Take care, people. I'll see you soon. The first Women's Day took place in New York in 1909. It was originally a socialist event that kind of evolved into promoting equal rights and specifically women's rights to vote.